Okay, this episode is about Villanova State Park in New Mexico. Uh, another very nice park. It's about 31 campsites. Um, yeah, some are electric. Uh, there's water here and there is a dump station. Uh, right across, I'm very, I'm right down at the very end here at the last campsite uh, with cottonwoods lining the, the sides of the road here. There's a playground right there, which is a nice added touch. A lot of state parks don't have that for the kids. Um, this uh, campground is, I was just at Hyde Memorial in Santa Fe, and this was about an hour and a half drive uh, to get here. Uh, you take Route 25, north out of Santa Fe and then you'll see Route 3 south and you get on Route 3 south and it's about 15 miles uh, south and uh, it's like I say it's really nice here uh, you have little mountain ranges you got a canyon going down there and the Pecos River my site's right on the water, and I can fish right in the back there, which uh, I'm going to be doing later today, probably. Um, take your little walk down here so you can see the river. They just stocked rainbows. Okay, this is November 10th, uh, and a state truck came in, and they dumped in, I think, about 100 rainbows uh, just a few days ago. Um, so, uh, and then if you head 25 north past Route 3, uh, that takes you to Las Vegas. That's about another half hour drive north. And that's the closest town. That's about 45 minutes from the campground. It's really the only place where you can get like propane and um, uh, they have a Walmart there and, you know, most of your bigger stores and stuff like that. But out here, there is a general store a couple miles from the from the state park, uh, and they had a nice selection there too. But you you know, if you really need something special, you're gonna have to go to Las Vegas, Nevada. Okay, there's the stream. Very shallow. Um, so I'm gonna. I found a spot down river where to, where it slows down a bit and it's deeper water. They also catch brown trout and channel catfish in here too. So, um, and I did, they have three hiking trails here and one of the trails follows the Pecos River here down that canyon and around. I followed it down maybe a mile and a half or so. And um, there's a lot of history here. Coronado came through in 1540 would be the earliest of the Spanish explorers. Um, anyway, you know, it's it's dropping down to about 40. I think the coldest night I was 38, but still above freezing in November 10th, that's not too bad. Because where I was at Hyde Memorial, I mean, there it was freezing every night. And um, even had eight inches of snow one night. So I had to get out of there and the temperatures here it's about 15 degrees warmer. Um, they have a little campground with 10 sites up the top of that hill, but they closed that off in, I think, October. I did to hike up there, and um, they have shelters on the campsites, which is nice, and beautiful views uh, of the Pecos River and the whole canyon here. Uh, these canyon walls, I think they go up about 200 feet. And uh, you, as you can see, there's nobody camped down here. There are four or five campers in the beginning of the state park. Um, but um, if you like really nice views, you go up there. But I, I like fishing, so I'm right on the water here. So um, that's what I prefer. Uh, I think it was about an hour and a half drive from Santa Fe. 
from the Hyde Memorial Park to get here. And we're at around 5,700 feet elevation in this park compared to <coughs> Hyde Memorial was at 8,800 feet. So it's a lot colder. They get snow earlier in the year and everything else. Um, so I, there's 31 sites total, but like 10 are closed off right now. Um, I'm not getting any internet here. Uh, no 3G or 4G service, and my cell phone's not working either. So you have to go back cl closer to uh, Route 25 to get 4G service. So there's a little spot there right at the exit where you can park and bring your laptop and get online or whatever. So um, I'm probably going to be heading out this week. I've been here almost a week now, and it's still a little too cold. It goes up to about 50 degrees, but... I'm going to keep heading south and check out some of the other campgrounds. But um, it's a very nice place. I really like it here. I w you know, if it was the summer, I would stay for a full two weeks. Um, I have the state park pass, so it's free. You know, the site's free for me, you know, because I, I paid for the uh, state park pass. If you're a New Mexican resident, uh, the state park pass is, I think, 180, but uh, out-of-staters is 225. So, um, I think that's about all I have to say. Uh, okay, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. This is Eric signing off.